welcome to the first day of October. We made it. <laughs> and it's the first day of talking about our horror mazes. Um, so, as you can see here, we have quite a few ideas for every day of the month. <laughs> including some extra ones that either are too insensitive done already but I want to see more ideas of and I wanted more days because I had so many ideas I was up since I was up until 2am a couple of weeks ago think of all this so okay so some, some are child friendly for ones I can have my Chester World Adventures some are not so first day Phantom Ow! Phantom of the Opera! Really the Phantom of the Opera horror base! It'll be amazing! Ow! <laughs> Phantom of the Opera! That'll be amazing! Cause we need more culture in these horror bases. Um, I can see it now. Like, um, at the end we have a chandelier. Cause that's got me to think it'd be a good horror maze, a chandelier. Um, that should be her. <laughs> uh, that have been the outtake. Now I'm keeping in. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah. So at the end of the horror maze, it will go for a bit where they have a boat. Because I know in Phantom of the Opera, there's a bit of a boat. I haven't seen a whole time film a whole time musical. I just know the soundtrack. I remember a boat. Um, and then there'd be like a scare actor just the phantom scaring you at every corner, like following you. Um, jump through corners and all that. Um, it's not a mask, so it's fine. <laughs> it's not a face mask, technically. <laughs> um, so, and then at the end, you think you finish the horror maze, like you see the exit sign and think, but then shit goes wrong. Um, you see, you hear the sin my angel, and then you hear that screeching hopper noise. You hear at the end of the front of the opera song, like you think it breathe love. And then the chandelier starts to swing, and then frang, and then it's right above your head, and then you get squirted with a little bit of water with red lighting to represent blood. So when you leave the when you leave the whole base, it's symbol that you died, basically. <laughs> um not that it's like soaking wet, it's a little bit of drops of water. Um And then it'd be like really technically difficult because you have to keep set the chandelier to go up and down all the time. So we will probably have a lot of like breakdowns. Um but I think we need more culture in these horror mazes. We need one on Phantom because it's dark. <laughs> it's 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 um, got the chandelier. It's got a scary looking mask. No chainsaws. No zombies. <laughs> um, I think it's perfect. <laughs> I'll do it. I don't I don't usually do horror mazes, but I'll do this one. Uh, where it would be though, that's a whole different question. I think it would be good at Universal Studios in Orlando. Because they usually do ones based on like films and stuff like that. Because they had one last year on It. I think we've done it now, Scary Clowns. No, it is scary. That Pennywise is terrifying, but it's a bit redundant now. Um, despite all the remakes. Um... So yeah, Phantom. I don't think it would be good at Foot Park because I don't think they're going to have that license. They had Blair Rich Project last year. Um, not really a fan of that one, not really a fan of horror films in general. But yeah, Phantom, we need it. If someone works at Universal Studios, get in touch. <laughs> so, that's my idea for today. A Phantom of the Opera Horror Maze. 
<laughs> so, um, tell, comment down what you think. If it has been done before, just let me know in the comments. But just don't be a dick about it. Just let me know, and I'll be mad. Because <laughs> I, I was, I've been thinking about one for quite a while, and I won't mention it. So yeah, that's the first Halloween Horror Maze idea. See you tomorrow. Bye.